Your wife is doing very well, Mr. Kearns. Oh, of course, any time. She'll be happy to see you. You're welcome. Wow! Well, well, oh, excuse me. Look who's here, all spruced up and ready to go. Oh, my darling. Hello, little boy. See, hi, Greeny. I'm fine and dandy. And Mommy and I were wondering if you would like to join us for supper in the cafeteria. Well, that's the nicest invitation I've had all day. I'd be delighted. What about Daddy? Well, Daddy was up all night working on a steak out, and then he was up all morning working at the health club, so... So he's home, catching up on a little sleep. Huh? <laughs> yeah, and Junior didn't want to wake him with all his singing, so... Well, Pad Bloss is my game. I'll be off duty in about a half an hour. I can sit in the if you'd like. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I think Junior and I'll just wait. You sure? Okay. Yeah. Dixie? Adam, oh, great to see you. Uh, Walking, you look wonderful. Thank you. Could I hold him? Is he pulling himself up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he does that the same way you do. I really um, admire the hard work that you've put into getting better. Had a good coach. I think it's a lot more than that. I think a wheel of iron doesn't hurt. He had the same deter determination when he was born. Yeah, that seems like a long time ago, doesn't it? I've dreamed about holding him this way, Dixie. Thank you. I was going to bring him back for a visit, you know. I, I was about to do that, you know, when you found us. You must hate me. After what I did to you. The child needs his daddy. And how he feels about you when he grows up is up to it's up to you. I'm not gonna do anything to prejudice him against you. How how can you be so forgiving? He's your blood son. And that's very important to you. I mean, it's important to both of us. That's the way we were raised. And, um... Because I'm responsible, because I wanted to be your wife. I wanted you to make love to me. I used you the same way you used me. I was obsessed about you the same way you were obsessed about this child. Although we hurt a lot of people, and a lot of terrible things happened because of it. We got ourselves one beautiful little baby boy. He's my pride and joy. Are you happy, Dick? Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happier than I ever dreamed possible. Does Tad help with uh, my son? Yes, Tad's wonderful with him. He's the best dad, stepdad he ever was, you know. You, you can see how happy Adam Jr. is. I'm getting better um, every day. I'm going to be able to spend more time with him. Be a real father. That'd be fine. Tad might not, not agree. Well, Tad'll just have to realize how important it is for Junior to be with his real daddy. And I'll always be there for him. Mm -hmm. I've learned what's most important in this mm -hmm. life. His love. Mm -hmm. The giving of it and the being worthy of it. You still love Brooke, don't you? You never stopped loving her. If I could just make up for what I did to her, and if she could forgive me the way you have, it just might happen. Well, I hope so. For your sake. I truly do.
are just getting acquainted. Seems to agree with both of them. Yes, feels good. I was just about to make Ruth for supper, and uh, had to wait a little while for her to get off duty, so we, uh... We were having us a little chat, weren't we, son? Getting to know each, each other. Well, you've had a quite a day. Getting out of the hospital for the first time, going to lunch, going to the park, holding your son. Best day of my life. Oh, look who's surrounded by gorgeous women. Must be a little heartbreaker, eh? <laughs> How you doing? Uh, very good. Well, then get on your feet, Adam Senior. <laughs> aye, aye, sir. Hello. Hello. Thank you. You bet. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, uh, we'll just have to do this again real yeah. soon, huh? Goodbye, son. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow? Mm-hmm. I'll be here. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Next time. Mm -hmm. If you'll excuse us. It was good for Adam, good to be able to hold his son. Well, I didn't do it just to be nice. I think Junior needs to know what it feels like to have his father hold him and love him. I know. Hmm. You know, Adam's changed a lot. Yeah, you know what he told me? That he really knows what matters in life now. <laughs> Strange, isn't it? I mean, when things they may never turn out the way you expect them to. It's easier when they do sometimes. You know, Brooke, I really started hating myself for telling you all those awful things that Adam did to me. It's right after you broke off with him that he that he had that stroke. Dixie, and don't blame my mouth, shouldn't yourself. Okay. I'm not. It's just... Well, I thought I had ruined any chance for you and Adam to get together and now it seems like. Listen, you're wrong if you were think that you were the cause of anything. Oh, that's it. There you go. By the time we wade through all of this young man's admirers, my dinner break will be over. Oh, <laughs> well, then let's kill you. Yeah, he's an antsy little baby. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we'll see you later, okay? Bye-bye, yeah. Brooke. Bye-bye. <laughs> That's the way Palm has operated for years. Starting with Nina, I would say that he has found the perfect co-conspirator in Opal. Mm -hmm. Well, there, I think they were both awful. But Uncle Palmer has apologized, and, and in her own way, so has Opal. I just wish we could just forget about the whole thing and, and put it behind us. Tad doesn't agree? No, not about Uncle Palmer. He just wants to cut him out of our lives. How does he feel about Opal? I don't know. He came home so tired from working all night and then working all morning at the health club. I just told him, you know, go to bed and we'll, we'll talk about it later. Hmm. Oh, you know, maybe he will cool down after he's had a good night's sleep. Well, that's what I'm hoping. Listen, how could I cut Uncle Palmer out of my life? He's my family and, and this is his little grand nephew. I love him. I can't cut him out of our life. I oh, know. I understand how you feel. It'll be terribly difficult. What my plan is. Uh, not a good choice for Granny, right? Not a very good thing plan. to do. What my plan is, is to let him get some sleep, and that maybe I can talk him around to my position later. What do you think? I don't think it's a good idea. I think you should tell Tad how you feel. And don't wait till he cools down. I think it's something you ought to deal with right away. Oh, dear. I was really hoping you weren't going to say that. All right. Well, I better... I better just go home and see if he's awake, huh? Mm -hmm. Thanks for your help and your uh, advice. I really appreciate it. Wish me luck. Wish me luck with this tire here. <laughs> you got everything? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you hand me this bottle? Thanks a lot. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Thanks. <sighs>